Dupuytren disease is a much trickier problem than most people realize. There are four main obstacles to research. The first is that Dupuytren is unpredictable. Some people get it, some people don't. Some people with it will have progression, and some people won't. If you can't predict whether or not something's going to happen, it makes it very difficult to tell whether a treatment has prevented it from happening, statistically. The second problem is that Dupuytren damages the hand slowly over years, sometimes faster, but it's a chronic disease. If you have to wait years to tell that something's going to happen, it makes it very difficult to tell whether your treatment has prevented it from happening. Logistically, it requires big, expensive research, and nobody's funding that kind of old-school research anymore. What we need is a Dupuytren blood test to be able to measure Dupuytren before it damages the hands, to be able to measure whether a treatment given today might prevent progression or recurrence of Dupuytren years later. We need a Dupuytren biomarker blood test. And that brings us to our third obstacle, which is that Dupuytren biology is very complicated. There are hundreds of potential Dupuytren biomarkers circulating in the blood. Our initial research is to measure these, and some of them are expensive to measure. That's why our initial research is expensive. There's major funding for this kind of research, but here's the catch. It's only available after we have preliminary results. And this is why we have to self-fund our research to generate this preliminary data. And this is where your support is so critical to get the ball rolling, because otherwise it won't get rolling, because surgeons treat Dupuytren. But surgeons don't do this kind of biomarker blood research. Medical doctors do, but medical doctors don't treat Dupuytren. So this gap is the biggest obstacle to Dupuytren research. And this gap is where we step in. We're bridging this gap with the International Dupuytren Data Bank, research designed from the ground up to overcome these four obstacles, to take the guesswork out of developing and testing Dupuytren prevention. So please join us, support the Dupuytren Research Group in our search for a cure. Thanks.